Hey, this is Jay Lee Hopal as well. I just got this great video from Nupio de Desma. He's part of our group and fantastic. He's definitely a UFO magnet. I guess Lupio at 4.30 was over at a store. He looks up in the sky and he sees this thing. He lives over in Paramount in Los Angeles. So apparently he sees it and he starts to videotape it with his phone. Of course this thing looks like a dot in the sky. So he decides to go home and grab his video camera and come back. He knew he needed a better camera, but he was only a few houses away. He grabbed his camera, couldn't find it in the sky and ran back to over to the uh, store. And then he started to videotape. Okay, I just want to let you know that once he started to videotape, he did not move. I can tell because the seven minute video uh, didn't show the shake when, if, he, if he was to move. So he stayed in one place for seven minutes uh, videotaping this thing. The other reason why I can tell that he didn't move uh, in his in his videos because I took a picture of the liquor sign in front of the place and matched it with a picture uh, at the very end of the video and they matched up perfectly. So I superimposed them here. As you can see, this thing did move. Now I know people are gonna say that this is either a balloon, a planet, or a satellite. It's not either of those. A planet would never move this fast across the sky. Not in seven minutes. Satellites travel about 17,000 miles per hour, about five miles per second. Anyone who's seen the space station at night or even a satellite at night know that this is not a satellite. This thing moved much slower. Please keep in mind that this is during the daylight. Yes, there's definitely something up there, but it's huge. There's no way that this thing could be a satellite. The other weird thing about this whole thing is the orb activity. Based on my experience, it's, this is really not unusual. Robert Bingham says that these orbs are there to protect the main vehicle. Objects seem to gravitate around this thing and kind of shoot by. It's a very normal activity with something like this. One thing for sure, they're out in force. So let me show you the reason why I don't think that this thing is a balloon. A balloon flies right by it. The wind is taking it away. The UFO is staying in one position, which brings up another point. If it was a balloon, it'd be blown away. It would not be staying in one position. And for those who think this is a weather balloon, it's not. First of all, they don't launch weather balloons within 21 miles of a metro city center. You can't launch a balloon this size uh, with air traffic. And once they launch a weather balloon, it's pretty much out of sight and within a couple of minutes. It's not a weather balloon. So this Mylar balloon just happens to fly by, giving a great perspective on the size of these objects. The object that isn't moving has to be huge. Why is there a balloon traversing the sky right at the moment that, you know, Lupio has his camera out videotaping an object, a slow moving object out in the sky? It's just really weird. Coincidences abound. Notice there's no tether on this object. 100% of all balloons sold in stores have a tether. How come this one doesn't have a tether? Did you ever try pulling one of these things off? Was it really that windy out? How many coincidences have to occur before it becomes mathematically impossible? But here's the most important thing I want people to realize. I'm so glad that this balloon showed up because it offers perspective. I wanted to go over why I say this thing is very far away. Because you have to think, is this UFO closer than this balloon? Equidistant from the balloon? Or farther from this balloon? I'm hoping everybody realizes that there's no details whatsoever on the UFO. Based on its movement, it's moving slower than a satellite, but moving faster than a planet. So it's gotta be somewhere in between. I hope you can realize this. Now, as you can see that this is very panned out, it really looks like a dot in the sky. Without the zoom of the camera, you wouldn't even be able to see the balloon. Now imagine putting this balloon equidistant to this object. I just know that even with the zoom, if it was placed one mile away, you wouldn't even be able to see the balloon. Now the diameter of a Mylar balloon is about 12 to 14 inches. It's about a foot wide. Now I'm not sure if you could tell, but this object is at least several miles away. Now you tell me, if this object was sitting next to this UFO several miles away, how big is this object? You have to realize that this thing is monstrous. 
So anyway, I hope you understand. I hope you liked the video. Please like and share among your friends. And come with us to our next UFO sighting event. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and we'll let you know when the next uh, UFO sighting event is. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.